let's see how we come in the flow. <clears throat> how I can always be connected with you. Always being in association with others in the same mood. Always be connected with you. That I want in my life. I want to be always with you. I want to give everything to you. When you are connected in one place, you are connected everywhere. This is the spiritual connection, the real yoga. I remember Gurudev speaking about Jesus. In Christianity, there's the understanding that Jesus, he died for our sins. <laughs> he died for us. So then Gurudev say, I don't agree with that. He say, he did only for his father. He did not for all of you, he did for the father. He is connected, one-pointed with the Father. He said, if it is your desire, I will take the pain. No problem. I do for you. So he was connected in one place with the Father in love. And because of that, he is connected with everyone. The question is what comes first? What is our connection? I'm connected to all of you through Radharani. That is our connection. Independently from our source, independently from our Creator, we have no relation with each other. But because everyone has a connection with Radha, with Krishna, 
because of that we are all connected also. Like leaves on the tree, the leaves cannot make relation to each other, but they are connected with the tree and the roots. When you are connected in one place, you are connected everywhere. This is the spiritual connection, the real yoga. This service is uninterrupted. You say, how will I do it 24-7? I have so many things to do. The material consciousness is the blockage. It creates interruption. It creates also a lack of energy. A lack of love. When we are not connected with love, with the source, that nourishes us, that gives us energy, happiness in life. If we are not connected with that, then we have to get the energy in other places. Then we start exploiting others. That is the demoniac principle in Bhagavad Gita, Asuras. They reject the connection with God. But there's a lack, they feel always a lack, not enough. So they become greedy for material things. They want more power, more control. So they have to do that because inside they're not satisfied, searching something. If I'm not fulfilled in my spiritual consciousness, then I cannot stop searching for that fulfillment. And the changes into material desires, into greed. But it will never be satisfied.
it is said that the material world is like a reflection of the spiritual world. Everything that exists in the spiritual world or everything that exists in the material world also exists in the spiritual world in purity, eternally. So love, spiritual love, has no limit. It's going on and on and on. And love also can never be satisfied. We, we listen to that. There's never enough of that. I want more. I want more relation. I want more service. I want more relish. That is the nature of love. It cannot be satisfied. There is always desire for more. <laughs> when that spiritual consciousness, the spiritual truth, changes in, into the material sphere, it's also clear that the material desires never can be fulfilled. We have love and we have lust. Love can never be satisfied. Always there's desire for more love, deeper love. In the same way in material consciousness, lust, material desires, also can never be satisfied, can never be fulfilled. Someone like to share something? <laughs> The material consciousness is the blockage. It creates interruption. It's not flowing. Ping pong, Guru Dev say. When the light is connected to the electricity, it's always shining. But when it switch off, switch on, switch on, switch off, then always interruption is there. Because not connected. Sometimes connected, sometimes not. Our connection is missing. Once you are connected, the soul is connected. There will be no interruption. When you have a divine connection, when you are fixed there, there will be no interruption.
We know from Vilapku Sumanjali. that Raghunath Asko Swami, sometimes he is in Swarup Avesh, in his spiritual body, seeing Radharani, serving Radharani. And sometimes he comes in Sadak Avesh. But he is always connected. It's not that there's interruption. No. Sometimes I'm there in my spiritual body and sometimes not. Sometimes I'm connected, sometimes I'm not connected. But it's not like that. Raguna Taskoswami always connected. Also in Sadak Deha. Because he never forgets his spiritual identity as Tulasi Manjari. He is never going in bodily consciousness. When he loses the vision of Leela, of Radharan, and coming in Sadak Deha, immediately he remembers <laughs> and start praying, crying, when I can be again there. So that is important to understand. It's not like one time connected and then disconnected. He is always connected in Sadak Deha and in Swaru. <coughs> Chandra, if I can say something because you Help me now to understand one point that nothing can exist without connection. In material world, nothing can exist without connection, and even in spiritual world, nothing can exist without connection. Connection with the source is the base of everything. Like you gave nice example with this light. This light can, must be connected with electricity, which is coming from the powerhouse, from the source of all electricity. Otherwise, this light, this bu bulb, how you call it, this bulb cannot be in the proper function if it's not connected with the source. Bulb is doing seva only when it's properly connected with electricity and the source of electricity. Without proper connection, there is no seva. And you help me now to understand actually that even in material life, we need strong connections that we can function. No one can function alone without connections with anything or anyone. Marriages are not functioning without strong connections. Work doesn't function 
without strong connection with, I don't know, with factory, with people who are working, with machines even. And what to say about spiritual connection? Seva doesn't exist without spiritual connection. And like Gurudev said in this commentary, when we are connected in one place, then you are connected everywhere. So if the old stuffs are connected with, properly connected with electricity, for example, then they can be useful. Otherwise, it's useless if there is no connection. You have very nice car, but if it's not connected with this battery, it's a useless car, although it can cost millions and millions of dollars. There is no any value. So the same thing is with the jiva. Natural position of the jiva is to be connected with the source of love. And I like your example, Gurudev's example, but you mentioned it, how Jesus was connected with his father. And whatever he did, it was result of his connection. Completely secondary thing, but primary thing, primary characteristic, Swarup Lakshana, is that he was in love with his father. And because of that, he did all other things which his father requested him, which was necessary. So I remember the also practical example, which Prabhupada many times was giving, if you are water, the root of the tree, then the leaves, branches, flowers, fruits on the tree automatically will grow and grow and grow and ripen. But if you are not watering the root of the tree, nourishing this connection between the roots and other parts of tree, nothing will happen. Sooner or later, tree will die. So, and the same thing is importance of nourishing of spiritual life in the proper mood, in the proper association, and consciousness that I need strong connection. Without strong connection, I'm useless, I'm lost. I'm living because I'm connected. Otherwise, I'm like a dead person. Although maybe I'm moving, but I'm a dead. So rather, that's a thing. Thank you, Gorachanda. You helped me to understand this importance between connection and seva and usefulness. May I ask something? Rade, Rade. Rade, Rade, Danavat. Danavat, all. Um, so, um, we can see that uh, blockage, our blockage is all, always this material consciousness, which uh, means I illusion actually, that we are separated and that we are not connected. And the spirituality is when we are united and also connected. And this is the real, real life, our real life. Uh, so, 
this connection, uh, we, we can see sometimes we are a little bit more connected, sometimes less. It must be also some many level of connection. So what is uh, the difference? What, uh, what will bring me to the maximum of level of the connection? I have some idea that this is maybe our desire, that desire connected us. But uh, sometimes I'm, I think I'm connected when you are with all of you, no, and I'm churning what we was thinking. But uh, after that, I always think that there must be more and more and more, more level of connection or connection. So my question is that what, how you can feel, how you can say about this different level of connection. Connection is essential, but must be that there are more level of connection. And how to attain the maximum of level of connection. <laughs> Even if we have Svarupa, but still that must there is something more to do. To do or or to, to receive. Rather, rather. To know it is one thing, but to realize it is other thing. Philosophically speaking, we know we are eternal, part and parcel of Krishna. We actually we cannot be separated. We are always connected. <laughs> but we can forget that we have that connection. And if we don't know it, then it is same like we have no connection. We are not living in that connection, in that relation. So there is no meaning that I am eternally connected. If I don't know it, if I have forgotten it, if I am not living that, then it has no meaning. But philosophically speaking, we are always connected, of course. And what is highest connection? Connect, connected in love. Love is the highest connection. And I share a little bit. Gorachandra ji. Gorachandra. Tainidi. I wanted to add something, maybe uh, just I wanted to uh, speak also something to Goranga Sonda, but matching also to Dayanidi. Uh, so, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> but maybe I forget it. We spoke about the bulb, it's connected to the powerhouse. And the bulb is only <laughs> useful if it has connection with electricity. Otherwise, totally useless. There is no other purpose <laughs> for this bulb. You cannot use for anything else. You cannot use for something else, for, I don't know. It's only there to shine. This is his service. Without shining, I have no existence. 
Without that connection, I have no existence, no meaning, no purpose. So same for the manjari. Without that connection, it's like I have no existence. This connection, this service, is everything I have. <laughs> that is my purpose. That is my existence. Outside of that, everything becomes zero. And we are also connected in this material world, Goranga Sunda say. You cannot do anything without being connected to someone. But this world makes us so disconnected, makes us so independent. This is completely illusion. People want to be free. I want freedom. I want to be independent. But life becomes very difficult. Huh? How people can think like I want to be free, freedom. I want to be independent. Okay. No, you do then you do everything alone. <laughs> Life becomes hard. Nobody cares for you. You have to do everything alone, independent, free. Being dependent is mercy. And actually we are totally dependent on others, also in this material. How I will survive if not others produce the food for me? <laughs> Grow it, harvest it, bring it to the shop that I can buy it. Uh, we are so dependent on each other as a family of humans. <laughs> Sometimes I think I also want to be a little independent. Grow all my vegetables myself. I don't need to go to supermarket. But where I get the fertilizer, where I get the seeds, <laughs> where I get the water, no? when there is no water from the tap. So it's totally illusion to think I'm independent and free. And being dependent is so beautiful. Others care for you. Your brothers and sisters care for you. Your Guru Dev cares for you. The whole parampara, everything that we cannot see. There are legions of supporters. <laughs> Everywhere. Guru Dev always says, just flow in that mercy. Become cat baby. I cannot do anything. Please, Mama, take care of me. <laughs> That's the beauty. To be totally... Dependent is the beauty. But here we think freedom is the highest thing. Being independent is the highest thing. That is the mind. That is the illusion. Shri Radhe. Can I talk? Can I talk? Yes, of course. <laughs> So this is very beautifully explained, Gore Chandra. And uh, I, I made some comment. I was my work. I was changing bulb. Sometimes the bulb is uh, is not fixed yet, slacking. Sometimes on and off, 
sometime on and off is happening. So, and then fix it, then always good. But sometimes <laughs> bubbles become old. <laughs> Some connection is a little slack, slacken. Then again start doing like this. So this uh, connection is kind of physical connection also. One day, Andakaji was saying, our connection, our friendship, or our relationship, also it depends on the years. Some friend may be, you know, five days. Some friend is maybe one year. Some friend is maybe five years. Some friend is 10 years, 20 years. Even Guru Dev's connection also. Of course, some, some people is very deep connection, connection in short time. But still, it takes some time to, co to, to have a strong relationship with Guru Dev or with friend. So it's depend on that sometimes in material speaking, it takes some time also. Even bhakti practice. So we may think, oh, I practice, you know, five years or 10 years, 30 years, but still we have to fix it. And also another Another connection is, is rasa. So if we examine rasa, like shanta rasa, dasha rasa, sakya rasa, and basare rasa, and madura rasa. So this connection means deeper love. It depends on the relationship, rasa. So we, we know at first we understand prema is highest. Yes, true. But uh, slowly, slowly we understand beyond the prema, sneha, mana, pranaya, raga, anuraga, Baba, Mahababa, even among the Mahababa, different level. Highest level is like Madanakya Mahababa. So, this interesting. What is deepest love is Mahababu taught to us. This love is a uh, unna to ujwarasa, babo urasa rasa. So this highest love, highest relationship, one sense, in rasa. This Mahaprabhu taught us, especially Rupa Lagunata, they are taught us, and they are servant. Our Guru Dev taught us. This I feel it. Rade, rade. Yeah, very nice. The rasa, the relationships. Also meaning connection becomes stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger. More intimate. More confidential. Shantarasa, mm. Pralat, he appreciates God. Huh? He's praying, oh, you're so great, Bhagavan. But there's never desire for service, like practical things. Oh, Lord Nishinkari, you want to drink something? <laughs> that never coming in the mind of Prahlad. Because Bhagavan is Atman. Don't need anything. 
So connection is there, but it's not very intimate. Dasya rasa? Ah, I'm serving, I'm serving. But I'm waiting for the order. Na? Hanuman, always ready to serve. Waiting that Ram will say something and then chung, Hanuman is going off. And then Raga Bhakti, Brajamu, Sakya, Vatsalya. But even there you see <laughs> Bhaktas not always together with Krishna. Krishna will leave Yashoramani to go in the forest with the cows, everything. He will leave his friends <laughs> when they take a nap after feasting. So relation becomes more intimate, more close, more oneness is there. Always together, like Gurudev writing here, saying, I want to be always together with you. Not one moment I want to be separate from you. I'm your shadow. Rather than. And then. In the stages of praying. Radha and Mohan. They are together. And they are so connected. So intimate that they cannot feel any difference in between them. I mean, she starts thinking, oh, I'm him. He starts thinking, oh, I'm her. That is the ultimate connection. The, the closest connection. Melting. Are very beautiful, gentlemen. Thank you. But also in the rasas, the connections are is growing. Shri Rade. Who else is there? Suniti. Suniti is there or? Goravan, no? Who want to share something? <clears throat> Gurudev is there? Radhe? Jai Gurudev! Jai! Jai Gurudev! Jai Dandava! What is? What you want to say? Beautiful sharing. We want to listen from you, Gurudev. What about? Connection. You know, connection. <laughs> connection has to fix. Loose connection means bulb is giving light, not light. Right? If the loose connection I see, one bulb was coming and 
giving light and close light. I said, what happened? <laughs> then electrician says the loose connection. <laughs> connection is there, but loose connection. He said, wait. I, and he tied the connection <coughs> and make the connection. Six. Never. Always like it. Then somebody come and he switch off. I say, where the light? <laughs> somebody switch off this. So switch the, the cables, the wire. Is a spiritual mark. It's not look, but it create the connection. Because this is the way of flowing the power. In India, there is a 440 volt gun and we have 220 volt <laughs> in our ashrams, houses, all the bulb are 220 volts. All the electricity is 220 volts. But supply comes for what? If you supply same kind of power, all will brush. Then, then they put one transformer who transform the 440 to 240. Right? In India like this, I don't know. So what is this transformer? who receive and transform as per our consciousness. Transformer works. That what is my consciousness, he give like that to me, that power, that we can not brush out. But this transformer can only use when there is a not loose connection. I'm only asking for one drop, Gurudev, not full voltage. Please, only so one drop. Transformer can transform the requirement as per my requirements. And that is the Kripa, this is not a job for the Radhika. This is the work of the cable and transformers to transform as per capacity how to help this soul. Gurudev, I think this transformer is Gurudev. Right. By the of Gurudev, this connection in a Gurudev transformer, which we can take it. That is the mercy of Gurudev and Radhika. That is. Gurudev, this is the work of Gurudev. Radhika is giving the 440 volts. She gives the so high volt, nobody can, I can take it. Only transformer. And the cable wires can bring to the transformer, and transformer can transfer as per my capacity that 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 I know burst out. When I was in South America, I'm sharing this. 
in uh, 96 to nine, over 90, 2000, about this sharing. Kabale, I say Kabale means war, cable. I remember now Kabale. I said, this is South American time I'm sharing that. So this is the way mercy is received, mercy is flowing, but we are not capable to receive direct from some. Without mercy of transform. He transformed as per my capital. Read more. Go. Gora Chandra. My, my throat. Something come in my mind. <laughs> when we coming to Bhava Bhakti, then the connection is fixed, established. Then there is no interruption anymore. That is the goal of sadhana. To come to that level. The goal of sadhana bhakti is bhava bhakti. When we come to bhava bhakti, we are connected and uninterrupted. Because mind not going out anymore. Mind is attached. <laughs> Fixed. So, but how we connect in sadhana bhakti? We throw ourselves in service. <laughs> Could they say always? Make yourself tired. That senses have no desires anymore. <laughs> so. Senses are giving too much trouble to me. So I, I realized this way that how to make that I throw out myself in seva. And problem is my seva, Gurudev give me charan and chatrapo seva. I say, Gurudev, what is the meaning of charan seva and chatra seva? He said, A to J. A to J. In Hindi, he said, A to J. I say, A to J means all. You see, I have to do A to J. If this is the Guru Kripa, what I don't know, I have to do. And I see this is my seva. This is the seva of my Manjari Saru. Why? Radhika is doing same seva and the Anang Manjiri also doing A to J. And he said to do A to J. Because you are Dasi shadow, how you will be shadow? So I do the material as Radha Mohan, I think A to J. I only service. And anything come in my mind, in five minutes I do it. 
One day it has to be finished, not for next day. I never keep for tomorrow. Seva means now, finish. Abhi. Abhi. That is a, that is a spiritual life. Living in now. Abhi. Not for tomorrow. And my Gopi Nath is also living in now. So if I have a ten person, then I can walk nicely. Ten person with me who do now, then I can work very good. <laughs> ten person I eat with now to do with me. Quick now. Um, now means what? You have nothing to think for that. Only somni. When he, he says, other thing will come, you will think for that project. Is not project for me, it's seva. Now. Uh, we have this tendency to always postpone everything no? in our life. Both you open in our spiritual life. Close. Sorry, in our spiritual life, we always think I'll start tomorrow. No, and and we know that Babaji says also the biggest mistake one can do is to think that tomorrow. I will start my bhajan. We have to do now. But this now actually is Gurudev in our life. He is the now. Because he is always living in the present of Swamini, in the service of Swamini. So he is our constant reminder that now we have to do. It's not that he's impatient with us, that saying, oh, now. But he sees that only if we live in the now, we can also serve. We cannot say tomorrow I will serve, or yesterday I did. No, Gurudev. Abhi. Abhi. These are the... Symptoms of surrender. Whatever appears, I will do that because it appears is a flow in my life. That is yes. Flow appearing now. Huh? If I have no flow, it will never appear. If you are in flow, it will appear, and now white flow appeared to me to do now. Because you are in the shadow, you have to believe in the shadow, and what appears is her instruction. It's not my thinking, my thoughts. Do it. <laughs> it's not my thoughts. My thoughts, then you're doubtful. It appears in flow to you. You are in flow of that, so it appears. When I'm not in the flow, then I always have to think how to engage myself, what to do, this. But when flow is coming, then I don't need to think anymore. I only need to follow the instructions. These days, flood is coming. 
in Vrindavan. There's no time to think when the water will enter in the house and how much will go up. Is it this in the flow? <laughs> <laughs> How you will wait for some days if the flood come flow becomes flood now. Is a flooded flow is flooded in Bandavan. Good, good <laughs> the, the most uh, amazing thing is that all the shores, both sides are flooded, like the river is like kilometers broad and people's houses are submerged in water, but nobody stops the flow. Everybody in Vrindavan is going on with the flow of life. Nobody is like, you know, yeah. they're surrendered. And Gopinath doubled the frame prashad. Before was 400, now 600 chapati. Each more flooding because the people are in flood, how they will get the chapati? They cannot cook, they have no electricity, no, no, water, no water. drinking water. Huh? No, no drinking water. We also install the drinking water now. Yeah, yeah. Now the pujari. Our pujari is all the cold drinking water. <laughs> For everyone. Everyone. Sri Rasa. He is also Sadhu Mahatma, mm -hmm. our pujari. He received some, some Dutch now, some money comes to him. He wants to do seva. He's, he is crazy to do seva. He wants to do more money, more, more for the water connection. <laughs> flooded. Service is floating. <laughs> My God. Prem Madhuri, one day say it should be very nice in the front of some Guru's Punja. And how she knows this? Must she come to her? Gurudev say also has to be like this. She start talking on that. I listen, I said, do not finish. She didn't say what. Well. What is coming is the Guru Dev inspiration. So when we are engaged, we are connected. Flood is there, flow is there. <laughs> Rathe. I was so sick, I have a foot poison. Which date? Four, five days. Four days before. Five days. Two days I was. Uh, my mind is not working. Garanga Sundari, you call that day, my mind is not working. I was so, so sick. I don't know what is happening to me. <laughs> I also think my mind cannot fit in bhajan. I become so crazy. Why it comes? When you will leave the body, this can happen to you. Be careful. Two days sick, one day sickness make you, only poison make you sick, put poison that your mind not disturb, fix one place, is still there is missing somebody. Mm. You have to fix more. You are not prepared right way. 
Why not mind is fixed but pointed? This mercy come to me this way to understand. More has to fix. There is something missing. So everything is a must. What is happening now is a must. Yeah. Oh, you talk. Yeah. No, it's a beautiful word. I want to listen to my brothers. Read something. Baranga Sundar share something. Yeah. Read some more. Yes, I'm reading. When you have a divine connection, when you are fixed there, there will be no interruption. Nitya Dharma. Vividha Shasvarma. There should not lose connection from transfer. If not, then short circuit. Yeah, yeah. Go on. When we are on the floor and we follow everything what Radharani or Gurudev giving me in my mind to do now, not tomorrow, now, then I'm always connected. But when I have the tendency, like Upinat say, to postpone everything, not to react on the instruction directly, <laughs> thinking, ah, I will do tomorrow. Then interruption of flow is coming. Then interruption happens. Is in book or what? <laughs> Uh, Gora Chandra, what you just said, is this from the book or is it from your lips? <laughs> I spoke that, but Guru is put in my mind. Uh. <laughs> How we can give up the resistance? Something is coming, I know I should do it. Follow the flow now, <laughs> not tomorrow. But some resistance is inside of me. I don't want to surrender. <laughs> How to overcome the resistance? Gopinath, Gurudev, everyone. So, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, he gave a love. Love nasty, nasty, nasty. Love nasty. This is the only way, my dear. For this, 
बिनीत हरे नाम हरे नाम हरे नाम के For this might to remove my material blockage, my loose connection, my my other things. What is happening without Arjuna? It cannot be. In flow, Jai. Nitya Dharma. When you are always living in that consciousness, then there is no interruption. This is real yoga. Interruption is the material blockage. My body senses. My mind. My knowledge. These are the coverings that are stopping me. Spontaneous love. Spontaneous. Nothing can block this. Spontaneous. Try to keep this in your mind. Radhe, I just remember a few years ago in one morning lecture, seven, eight years ago, something like that. Gurude words saying this first words from Bhagavad Gita, Dharmakshetra Kurukshetra. <laughs> and I was fascinating with his explanation that he gave. If, the, if we are not living in Dharmakshetra, in Nityata, then we should live in Kurukshetra. Because Dharmakshetra is real existence of the soul and real connection with the source of the soul. And this is real Dharma, Jaiva Dharma. But if the person is not connected like this, he must live in Kurukshetra. In other words, in material life, full of obstacles and full of interruptions. Because influence of false ego brings blockages, and influence of blockages is the, so many interruptions like Kurukshetra. So heavy, no flow. Uh, I just wanted to say it because I now I remember his words. Dharam Chetre, Kuru Chetre, Sambeta, Yudhu Savaha. 
ಪಾಂಡವಾಶ್ಚವ ಕಿಂ ಕೂರ್ವ ಸಂಜಯ ದಿಸ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಧೃತರಾಷ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಸ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ದ ಬ್ಲೈಂಡ್ ಫಾದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಸ್ಕಿಂಗ್ asking so he is a blind he no guide nice way to mamka prince mai he is a mamka and that is his brother is a pandavas son means he is not his his own he differentiated himself to two brothers what is meaning when the fighting come we differentiate the, because we are so blind father we differentiate in our children this is my this is others this is my disciple this is other disciple jesus say love your neighbor what is meaning of that if he is in neighbor if he is your son other son love neighbors this blind person say this is my and this is my brothers is not my is my brothers others outside them this is the blind person blind father who not who right way teaching he is not punishing me if i do mistakes is not fun <laughs> so he is dhritras father because he is a blind he has to ask the sanjaya with others he take advice from other his consciousness is also become blind so we are all in the spiritual life also father in material life also father we have to open not my and yours we have to open to see like this who is close to me they are all are mine this is my duty to care like my son that is the real teaching of this first school they are in dharam khetra is spiritually enlightened person see like this sri radhe Goranga Sundar I find about Iceland I am worried my my your daughter is going and then I have search and find out there are also my disciples yes 
We were taught that. Yes. <laughs> yes. Not did that. <laughs> yeah, Drita Rastra is not connected. <laughs> Who is blind? How they can connect to my? <laughs> the, two, the two bulbs in his head. <laughs> no electricity is there. <laughs> and mother also, not was she was not blind. But she covered her eyes to show that she is also blind. So father is blind and mother want to show to others that I am also blind. Hundred sons were there, but no cares to them, no give them. Blind can how give to to realize this reality? So, Gurudev, Prabhupada, uh, Prabhupada, Dhritarashtra, but I remember what Prabhupada said. <laughs> he said actually he was physically blind, but also he was spiritually blind. You see? This is the point. Mahajan, he is a real Mahajan, Prabhupada. Not that he blessed me, he hugged me, he blessed me. So I am glorifying to him. He is real Rasik and Mahajan. Real Rasik. Real Radha Dasi. Real, he lives in his manji sarup. Show me any Bhagavad Gita where is mentioned by devotional practice you will get the Sarup and Sarup Siddhi. Any book of Bhagavad Gita you find and show me. Only Prabhupada book. Why he write about Sarup? And it comes by devotional practice to understand. Why we need Sarup? Why he write about Sarup in page four? Is starting of Bhagavad Gita is doing. <laughs> Only Rasik will talk about Sarup. Who is living in Nitta Dharma, they will talk on self. Namatic Dharma, Nitta Dharma, they will not talk. My Gurudev. Radha Govindas Bhavaji sent me to go and see him. That Nityananda appeared in his form. Thank <laughs> you.
जय प्रभु का If he is not manifestation of Nityananda, how he will come on the west? And not many comes also on the west, but he stayed on the west so many years and took this burden of helping the conditioned souls in their horrible situations, not sattvic persons but complete, complete Nityananda's case. <laughs> and only drunk person, intoxicated person can do this. Mad person? A mad Who person. <laughs> in the love of Radhika. Yes. Who can do this? But this is the beauty of mad persons, Gurudev, and intox drunkenness. You can ask from them anything and they will give you voluntary. You want this jewel? Okay, I will give you because I'm intoxicated, I'm drunk. Yeah. One I see but that you are also, you are Gurudev. No, no, no. Yes, I'm yeah. sorry. Hopeless person. I'm yeah. a state student here. I'm learning. I'm, you see, two days sick. I cannot fix my mind. How am I crazy? What I do whole of life? I'm so fallen here. Don't. Don't. I'm not here. If you are nothing, then I will be not here. <laughs> believe it's me. not possible. It's such a rascal to be here. I was useless. My mind is not working. Who cares about mind, Gurudev? Your heart is always working. Chitta, not mind without heart. Sorry to stay home. Bless me that it happens like this. All you are in teaching, Gurudev, expand in your form to it. My Guru Dev expand himself in all of your form. This is his mercy. Punyam, Gopinath, Prem Madhuri, everyone is all mercy given to me. You, everyone. If you cannot believe, where? In material thing. And this plastic body don't believe when they will leave us. Use it. Material thing you cannot believe. Up to when he will be with you. <laughs> We have to use this material thing. Mm -hmm. 
to realize more deep and fast. We don't need to waste our time. Sorry, sorry. Close, close, my close. <laughs> Say read something. Prabhupada also connected. Prabhupada also on the flow. He not acting independently. He is also instrument. What is coming to him, he followed that. He become instrument of Nita. I also see like that become more and more clear. Before, it was only in India. And even in India, many Gaudiya Vaishnava, they don't have clear understanding. Prabhupada gave clear understanding. <laughs> all over the world in just 11 or 14, 11 years. Not only to the whole world, also to many Gaudiya Vaishnavas in India. And now just 50 years later, after he came to America, 55, whole world, everywhere are devotees, <laughs> chanting. <laughs> that only Nita can do. And spontaneous. We just read your golden words, Gurudev. Three times you say, spontaneous, spontaneous, spontaneous. Spontaneous means that we, we have to surrender. Because we don't know what is coming. Sponta spontaneous means I don't know what is coming. Whatever is coming, I will follow that. If we are not spontaneous, if we are not surrendered, spontaneous never can happen. Then we have our own ideas. Ah, I will do this, I will do that, I will do that, keep myself in seva, keep myself in sadhana, study the shastras, like this, my, 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 my plan. But never spontaneous coming. Spontaneous means... <laughs> Gurudev will tell me, and I have to do. Radharani will tell me, and I have to do. Reacting on what is coming, not my own ideas. Then the flow is there. So, Raga Bhakti without surrender is not possible. Jai Gurudev, your golden words. One line more read. <laughs> One more line. It's not my line here. Yeah. Yeah. Spontaneous. Try to keep this in your mind. When we calculate something from our mind, it is not spontaneous. Why <laughs> not this English? Impossible.
Maybe Nita is dancing in your heart, Gurudev, also. <laughs> Giving. <laughs> How to become spontaneous? When you behave from your soul. You ask a mother to stop feeding her child, what she will say? She will say, I will rather die than to do that spontaneous. We have to change our identification from the soul, not from my body, my senses, not from philosophy. <laughs> You have to come in the soul. Love has to come from the soul. That is Jaiva Dharma. Renounce everything for the goal of sensitive, selfless devotion, loving, not for my fame and glory. I do everything to be in your mellow. I was in a different mellow, material mellow. And I want to change that mellow. Maybe we stop here for today. <laughs>